Okay, so what we're going to learn how to do today is how to draw a flathead screw in AutoCAD. If I go back to the reference picture, which is from the technical drafting uh, book, you can see this middle picture here is uh, defining flathead dimensions. Now the D, anywhere the D is mentioned, that references the major diameter. In our case, for practice purposes, we're going to use 3 quarters of an inch, 0.75. Now the first thing I'll need to do is I'll need to offset this top line down one half D. So that means one half the major diameter. And please note that this here, this length, that means that the length of the screw includes the head of the screw in this case. So since we're using three quarters of an inch screw, we're going to offset this top line down um, <clears throat> half of that dimension. And half of that dimension is 0.375. Now, since I've got all these other little lines here to signify my threads, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make this line a little bit longer. That way, when I offset it, it's going to be a little bit easier for me to see what line it is. So I'm just going to use my uh, trimming tool to extend these lines. Then I'll erase these extra lines here so they're out of the way. Now I can use my offset tool. Now my offset distance is going to be half of my major diameter, which is going to be 0.375. And I'll offset this in that direction. Now you'll see that basically these uh, threads here overlap that head. Now there's not going to be any threads where the head is in place, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to delete the threads at that point. So we're going to go to the Erase tool, and we're going to select these lines. Here, just to remove the threads from that particular area. Now, now that we have this defined, if we go back to the picture, you'll see that um, this particular angle here, it says that it's 80 to 82 degrees, but what we're going to do is we're going to draw this at 90 degrees. So that means that each side is going to go up at a 45 degree angle. Now using our angles here, I'm going to go ahead and draw a line. I'm going to start this point here. I'm going to use my angle tool, which is the shift and the low, uh, less than symbol, and I'm going to specify an angle of 90 plus 45 degrees, which is 135. And I'm going to extend that out to that point, past that line, so when I trim it, um, it'll go there. I'm going to do the same thing down here, except the angle is going to change slightly. It's going to start at this point, and my angle in this case is going to be 180 degrees plus 45, which is 225. And that's it. Now what I'll need to do is I'll need to do some trimming. So I'll go to trim. I'll extend this first. And then I'll go ahead and trim these pieces off. And I'll also trim off the major diameter since it won't show there. <clears throat> and I also need to trim the ending of my head. I forgot to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that now, here, and here. Now we're almost finished. If we go back and look at our picture, you'll see that we have this little slot here that basically represents where a flathead screwdriver will go to drive the screw. So we need to draw that in place. And the dimensions that are given are quarter D and quarter D. So it's a quarter D wide and a quarter D deep. So if I go through and I take a look at this, I'm going to have to offset this line down, quarter D, and I'm going to have to offset this line on either side, uh, an eighth D. It doesn't really matter which one I do first. I'm going to go ahead and take care of this one. So I'm going to go to Offset and 
specify my distance. A quarter times the major diameter is going to be 0 0.1875. Offset this line down that far. And then I need to offset this line here, but I'm going to go ahead and draw a solid white line so I can get that offset correctly. I'll go to the offset tool and I'll need to offset half of the 0.1875 on either side. And that dimension is going to be 0 0.09375. And I no longer need this white line in the middle. And then I can just go back and trim my other lines and then I'm all finished. Just trimming these pieces so it looks a little nicer. And then these extra lines here, I can erase them. And there we go. There's my flathead screw. And we are finished.